Thanks, thanks, David, for that introduction. Very kind of you. Um, as you mentioned, when I look at kind of my career, I've been really fortunate and managed to work with some amazing companies and somehow climbed up the ladder to be CEO and and moved on to, to multiple CEO, CEO roles. And so, I mean, one thing I can absolutely say um, is that, you know, usually it's not the smartest person that becomes a CEO. Mm -hmm. and, and uh, a lot of it comes down to luck, if I'm honest, and don't let anyone else say otherwise. But I thought what I'd do is just share some of my experiences of kind of what um, kind of got me where I was and how some of that luck fell my way. And, you know, for those aspiring to be CEOs and companies, corporations, um, you know, maybe there's something you can use with that. So probably the first thing I could say in experiences is um, when you get promoted, stop to stop doing your old job and do the new job. And, I'll, you know, um, when I was fairly young, I got my first big break at Colenso, if I see Lee Grant's here, um, and uh, where I got promoted. And I remember at the time our CEO invited me into his office and he said, look, uh, Anthony, congratulations. You know, we're gonna promote you to media director. But uh, the one thing I wanna make sure you're clear is that we really need you to be a media director um, because in six months time, if we've got a media manager just running out of the department, we're gonna have a real problem. And you know, it was a really good kind of uh, pointed to me to say, look, um, yeah, you actually, you're taking on a new job. And quite often when you get promoted, particularly internally in a company, the reason you think you're being promoted is you, say, you think, oh gosh, I'm being recognized for the great job I'm doing. But I, you know, being managed, but I can tell you that that isn't what they're thinking. That, they're thinking, is that the right person to do the job we need them to do? And because they can recruit from outside or they can hire from within. And when you go into a new job being promoted, you actually do have to learn new skills. You have to learn that job and that new role. And, you know, a big mistake is the default to what you're comfortable with and do what got you there and, and, and try to do the job, your old job and, 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 and that really is kind of not a formula for success and in fact it's going to really annoy the person who is doing the old job which is not a good job for a manager. So um, second thing is if you, if you get promoted, um, make sure you look for a successor. And you know I worked in the cutthroat advertising industry, I mean they are ruthless to work for and so you're your, your um, natural instinct is to is to um, to keep your job, and and way you keep your job is you try to make yourself indispensable, mm -hmm. which you know no one is. You you try to own the client relationships. You try to you actually hire people hire people that aren't very good because you know it, it sort of makes them look like that they're a good boss and important and and you know um, that. That is a good strategy if your job, if you if you wanted to keep your job, but it's not a great strategy if you want to get promoted. And you know, I, um, you know, when I went to the uh, got uh, went to the UK, I found a guy who was relatively young and junior, and I thought, oh god, this guy has got so much potential. He's really smart. I promoted him. I sent him to London Business School, and he was kind of ready to to step up. And I said to my boss, look, I think Jerry's ready. And uh, he said, well, what are you going to do? I said, I don't know. And then within a couple of months, he said, look, I've got a job for you in New York. And, um, and I think the thing is, like, when you're the boss and you're looking at um, people to promote, um, you know, don't ever think that a boss wants to do it for, for you. It, they're doing it for themselves. <laughs> and so, you know, you don't actually want to promote someone if it's going to create a, another problem for you somewhere else. But if you do have a successor and, and you know, you become very promotable and, you know, I, I guess that's what helped get me into that role. And uh, probably the third thing um, that kind of helped me a lot in my career is this whole thing about trying to market yourself. Got one more minute? Okay. And, um, you know, it's fun, funny because, you know, I'm Asian, like some of you in the room, and, you know, I think we kind of brought up on this whole idea, oh, look, you work really hard and people will recognize you and you will do well. And you're kind of taught that when you're young, but you know, I could tell you that in the, in the corporate world, loyalty and hard work is really undervalued. <laughs> and so you actually need to sort of 
you know, and I worked in the ad industry, we worked with brands, and quite often those people are the worst at marketing themselves. And marketing is about not just telling you everyone how good you are, it's also about trying to understand what people want. And what does the company want? What do they value? And then making sure that you deliver that and actually plan to do that. And don't think about that two days before your annual review. Think about that 10 months out and say, look, when I have that review with them, what am I going to say that's going to be really valued? And, and then focus on doing that and, and then and get out there and talk about it. So, because you can't just rely on your boss to sort of, um, for your career. She or he also, you know, is, when they promote someone, they, they want to make sure that other people in the company think that's a good decision as well. And so, you know, do yourself a favor and look after your own career. Don't just focus on working, but focus on, you know, making sure people know about it as well. So there, here we go.